Good day, everyone, and welcome to episode two, series two of Rise of Industry. Uh, now we're starting off here where we left off in our last episode, which episode one basically was uh, we did the tutorial and we started talking about how we were going to do the game. And we have uh, set up our headquarters in Abenrood, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. And we are planning on being, or I'm planning on being, an agricultural giant in the world that we've created. So uh, just a couple of quick things here. Now we want to do uh, what the game recommended we do, and that is we want to supply the town with things they actually need. Um, because it is not very practical to build the perfect widget that nobody wants. Otherwise, because they're not going to buy it. So we need to provide the town with stuff they're going to need. So we can do that by going to the two shops that we have, having a look at that and seeing what we need. Now, I'm pretty sure we don't have any of the agriculture unlocked at this stage. Um, so we'll come back to that in a second. But over here, we've got, we need wood, which we get from the lumberyard, wool, okay, coal, raw rubber, produced at orchard. Now, some of you may be aware that post, oh, up to and post World War II, the largest producers of rubber in the world came from rubber plantations. Uh, and particularly, actually, in Southeast Asia, in uh, Malaysia, uh, latex and rubber uh, were naturally harvested. So we can do that there. So we've got some stuff going on there that I'm pretty sure we can get on with. But we just need to have a look for a tick here, see what we've got going in farms. And yeah, none of the farms are unlocked at the moment. So we won't be heading down the farming route. But we can start, I think, with some... Well, now, let's have a look here for a second. What have we got? Copper mine, gas pump, iron mine. We can certainly get underway with the lumber yard. And that is very much in the area that we're heading off. Uh, forestry, I would put, well, it may be a stretch, but I'd put it in the agribusiness. You know, you grow trees, you cut them down, you sell them. And we've got a market there for that. So we're going to start with lumber yard now. I'm not quite sure if the lumber yard needs a water siphon. But so we may not do the water siphon at this point, but we will get on with the lumber yard to supply the town with lumber. And in the meantime, I think we should start some research in agriculture. Now, research is... Research is somewhere. You can hide it from me, but I'm going to find you. Where are you? Research. Ah, that looks like research. Tech tree. There you go. Ooh, rural produce, livestock, and drinks. Interesting that it puts it in that category. Produce, livestock, and drinks. Light industry. Now, okay. Wooden planks. Well, so far, we don't need wooden planks. Hmm, interesting. Auxiliary fields and harvesters. Logistics, admin, distribution. Okay. We're definitely in rural to start off with. And let's have, ooh, now produce. Produce. We know we needed vegetables. Actually, let's just go back one step here. Let's just, more recipes. Yeah, got that. What were we looking at here? The prairies. The vegetables. Okay, now, I'm looking at things specifically that we can grow without needing any interference with potatoes vegetables and wheat what's that oh oranges potatoes vegetables wheat and oranges let's go back wheat 
Hmm, maybe we do berries here, yeah. bit of vegetables here, yeah. and potatoes. Yep, they're all top tier. We can do them without any trouble at all. So we'll go. Oh gosh, what have we got here? Total cost two hundred thousand. Total cost two hundred thousand. Oh, okay, well, you know what? Vegetables are good for your diet. Oh, it needs water. Right. Okay water okay so all the farms need water got it okay let's go vegetables because good for you you have two free unlocks available oh okay all right well vegetables and uh wheat how about that oh we that's great we can actually start with farms straight away then oh well done us you have one free unlock i thought i just unlocked that didn't I? One, two. Okay. Uh, what was the other? Potatoes? Didn't I just... Isn't that three? I'm sure that's three. All right. So what else is on the top row? Olives? Oh, it was oranges, wasn't it? Oranges. Oranges. Okay, let's... Um, I want to go back and double-check that because I don't want to spend $200,000 when I, if I can't use it. Oranges. Okay, all right, we're going to go oranges. That's going to be our thing. We're going to research oranges. Mm. Orange field. Sure. Um, 60 days. Are you researching? How do I know? Oh, we can queue it. Right. Okay, now I'm happy with just going oranges for now. All right. So we're in a position that, well, we can actually get going straight away. So number one, or oh, actually we should pause the game. Number one, um, I think we need to harvest some loggies and get that going now where is our border it's fairly good now we're going to put timber actually what have we got over here ironmongery hardware store hmm. i don't know how you um i did the tutorial but i'm still not sure i know how you sell stuff to another town so we just sell to our town i think for now so that looks like a pretty good spot for a lumber yard. And I think we need just one. Because if we did something like that, that's pretty good. Although maybe we could even do something like this. Yeah, that might even be better. Okay, all right. Now, we need to align you road-wise. Now, let's get up. Perfection is not what we're after. But we are after the best coverage we can arrange. And I think that's pretty good. Okay, so we need a network. We need a dirt road I think here um, E there you go E for Ega Ega okay so that's you be careful when placing roads or train tracks as all sections need to be connected got that it's got a red thing because there's no red things we need to add a harvester Sure. And we can have up to three harvesters. So, again, let's try and provide the best coverage that we can. Actually, how about that? That, actually, you know what? That doesn't look too bad. In fact, that looks pretty dang good. 
Yeah, I like that. So that's one. Okay, and then if we come over to this corner. Eh? Maybe rotated meter. Now, where's the border? I wonder if that... Now, I don't know for sure if you have to be inside the collecting zone or you can be just outside it a bit. Hmm. Does that mean that the collectors have to be inside? How about that? You know what? Let's let's stretch the boundary a bit. See if we can do this. Where is the road? Where is the road? And one more will come over here. And a little bit of overlap there. Yeah, I think I think we get I think we get a very good coverage with that. Okay, let's put in the dirt road. Get things to match up. Okay. You are now seeing the outline of this building for long now. Okay. So let's put you on. Oh, look at the guys. They've got. Oh, that's cool. Oh, <laughs> that's cool. Okay. So we're harvesting. Now, destinations, storage, storage, what storage? No product stored. Choose a destination. Well, at this stage, Um, can we, now how do you, that's interesting, do we need a warehouse? Choose a destination. Do we need a warehouse? Pathing alert. Well, yeah, all right. All right, maybe we need a warehouse. Gosh, I can't, I can't even remember anymore. Okay, no. Terraforming, no. Prototype pollution, logistics, factories, farms, gatherers, bridges, tunnels, networks. Choose destination. Ah, there you go. We have to go to commercial and we go to Abbon Road. Hardware store. Infinite. Cool. Well, that took a minute, didn't it? Mm. Pathing alert. Cannot reach destination. Lumber yard harvester. Lumber yard harvester. Why not?
Orange field. All right, that's going. Why? Oh, why not? Cannot reach. Oh, we didn't finish the road prop. Why not? That's very bad. I thought we, I thought we connected. Oh, that's better. Okay, I think. Okay, that's better. Oh, cool. We got the guys coming from the gatherers. Oh, look at that. That's pretty cool. And then they go down to Oven Road. Very good. Well, we've got we've got production happening. So let's just um, let's just come down here for a sec and have a look. Okay, so it's green. The demand is going up. Three point oh eight hundred. Ooh, nice. Okay, nice. Okay. Um, what about money? Can we look at how our money is going? That labels and lands. Ooh. <gasps> That's what I was looking for. Resources. Cold. Yeah. That's better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. Oh, okay. Fine. I'm glad we found that. That was good. Okay. State. Global market. Logistics. Shop overview. Recipe book. Tech tree. Budget overview. Right. There we go. If you want to see a detailed overview of all the things you are selling, how much they are selling for, and every expense that goes with it, this is the panel for you. From here you can filter the graphs to show you all the ways you are making and losing money. Oh, excellent. Um, total expenses, total income 12. R&D expenses, well, because R&D is going to be pretty heavy for us. R&D is going to be pretty heavy. Okay, so we've got um, we've got that going on, and that is good. I'm happy about that. Now what I would like to do is branch off into ye old farming technique. So let's have a look at layers for a minute and look at resource names. So what I think would be practical for us to do would be not to put our farms where we think we're going to go and harvest some things like coal and stuff. I think that's, we need to be mindful of that, just mindful. So we've got, we've got quite a bit of space over here actually. But I'm thinking that this area here, we could put some of our first farms and at the same time, we'll just pause the game for a sec, so let's have a look and see what a farm looks like. So that's a crop farm. That's the orchard, so oranges. We haven't got to plantation yet, but we can definitely do crop farm. Potatoes and vegetables and wheat. Oh, they're pretty big. And we're definitely going to need to put them in there near the water supply. So I'm actually thinking we could start off... Actually, you know what? We could start off over here. Near the town. No, it's too far from the water. If we do that, we're going to have to lug water everywhere which is not particularly what I would be after. How about we put it up here? Um, it does over... Well, actually, you know, we could put it there. That's reasonable. I wonder how much it costs me to flatten that terrain. Okay, let's have a look at this for a minute. The demolish tool, the duplicate tool... Undo the, where was the terraforming tool? Was there a terraforming tool? 
there was a terraforming tool, and it's called Flatten. And it's, it's a good thing. So if I do this whole area, but I get more farming space, but let's not do that just now. Let's go, let's just do that. That seems reasonable. Cancel that, get the farm, put the crop farm in. Now, where is mine road? Okay, that's that's kind of what we'd be aiming for, I think, here. Yep. Kind of that would work, I think. I think that's a good outcome for us. Yep, I like that one. Yep, I think that could work really well. So now, let's just hold that off for a second. First of all, because um, because I think we need to connect. Yes, I realise. There you go. Now, I just go along here and make sure it's all connected up. Yes, which it is, fine. Now, we need to put some fields, but before we put some fields, let's do something clever. Uh, go back to our town and see which produce is giving us the most dollar in terms of wheat is 722, 723, and 712. That's interesting. Okay, well, vegetables certainly are good value. I mean, we're all seven something. So I think we'll put some vegetables in. Now, I don't know how many we should start with, but how about just two to begin? So let's set you to vegetables. Okay. Uh, now we need we need one water per field, and you get two vegetables per field. So one water and one field gives you two vegetables. Excellent, everybody. Storage, production, right, so we need vegetables, right, overview, add a field, there you go, now, we are going to do this, because we want to produce the mostest for the mostest we can do, so that's one, And that's two. So that's what we're going to start with. Now, we also need water. Right, we need water. So we need a gatherer, which is a water siphon. It's going to take me, I mean, you guys already know this because I do the clutch factor really well. But it's going to take me a couple of episodes to get into the swing of the game and how things work. So it's going to be a bit klutzy when we start off. Now, how many um, how many siphons can we actually get in there? Well, we could get, we could probably get quite a few in. Oh, croaky throat. We could probably get quite a few in there. So let's do that. Right, okay. And then we need to put in some gatherers. And a, oh, sorry, a harvester. Not a gatherer, a harvester. Right, we'll come down here. 
turn the road around that way. Okay. Actually, you know what? Let's set it up so that we can collect from here first. Let's start off. We've got two fields. Let's start off with two harvesters. Okay, now we, do we, do we, do we really, I think we really do, maybe we need a road through there, sure, we don't want the pathway to be too great, I'm very happy to report at this stage that I'm glad that one of the things we're not doing is producing electricity. Because if we had to power all of these, it would just be not nice. Okay, now, just checking up here on our research, the orange field is going well. Let's, let's just quickly, before we finish that, whiz back to our town for a second. We, cocoa is, cocoa is 11.68. Cocoa is 11.68 and grapes is 7.92. You know what? That's a good price, 9.23. Now why is that 11.68? Oh, the average price, 9.23. Average price, I think we should research cocoa. Let's do that, shall we? So we'll go back to produce, click on cocoa, right? So we've got oranges, cocoa, and berries. Was it berries or grapes? I've got a, got a memory, short term memory like a sieve. Grapes, not berries. So grapes, mutton. Ooh, I like. Ooh. I would have to tell you that, and it's only a personal thing, but lamb chops, yum, yum, yum. Mutton, yep, lamb chops, average price, fine, not very expensive, is it? But you know what? We're an agriculturalist, so we can deal with this. Let's do mutton. Okay, so we'll get um, livestock. What have we got? Oh, we've got a fish harvester already. Sheep, sheep, cows, chickens, sheep. Are able to produce mutton and wool at livestock farm. Oh, wool we could do with. Oh, who wanted wool? Did you guys want wool? Wool, okay, two birds, one stone. Well, I'm hoping we get the two birds with one stone. So we're going to do sheep. And um, and I think that's what we're going to... Oh, did I do potatoes? I did do potatoes. Okay, I think three is fine for the minute. Okay. So we should have water going to the farm, producing vegetables. All right, so first of all, you are going to the destination farm there. Okay, two water, two thing. You are going. Uh, now I'll work this out a second. To the commercial Abbin Road Farmers Market. Cool, and we have two things now heading off. Except you're red. Well, yeah, because you haven't started doing anything yet and you've got no water. So that's not going to be good for you. You need water first. So we get we wait for the water siphon to siphon water. There you go. 
but we've got two things happening. Now, the, the logging industry, that was easy to set up. This one, a little bit more complicated. And I think maybe it might have been better for us to do the water first so that when we started the farm up for the vegetables, the water was already ready to be delivered. But we're getting there. I think this is pretty neat, actually. I love the, um, the artistic style they've used for developing this and how they've actually done the graphics for the game. I think it's really cool. Oh, all right. We've finished oranges. R&D alert one. What does that mean? Research completed. We've created the orange field. Well done us. Oh, okay. We've done you. Thank you. Okay. Water is being delivered. And now water needs to go to... Can I follow you? Oh, yeah, I can. Cool. Ah, oh, this is cool. Can I follow you without that big tag? No, I can't do that. But we'll get two water to the farm, and that means that we should be able to go straight ahead, plants and vegetables, and very soon thereafter, we should be selling stuff to our hmm, production alert. What was the production alert? Missing input crop farm. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We, we know about that. Oi. Okay, we know about that. Okay, here he goes. This is our first water. Our second water, and we're away. Uh, we're not following you anymore. How do I stop following you? Stop following the vehicle. I don't think it likes me. Does that work? Oh yeah, there you go. I don't know. Alright, now we're going to keep an eye on our crop farm here. See if we get any... Um, Actually, we have storage capacity. And so in storage, we have 40 units, right? Building capacity, right? Production. We haven't stored anything yet. So we can store water and we can store vegetables. But at this stage, oh, here we go. This should store some water for us. Yep. Two water we should end. There you go. Two water in storage. So we're going to have good product. And you can see the animation is starting up now as the vegetables grow. Um, 35 days. So about a month. So that's pretty good. So let us just speed this up till we get to the end of the month so that we can see. Oh, look at it grow. Man, I like that. Becomes more water. Blah, blah, blah. Yep. Cool. And any minute now, as soon as that gets to the top, we are going to be good to go with... The, there you go. Vegetables. Whoa. Okay, we got we got three, four vegetables. Seems right. Okay, and of course our vegetable farm is beginning again. So, okay, water's coming in, right. Hmm. 
Okay, so the point now is not to overproduce. But let's just see. Now this is the lumber coming in. Don't know whether they call it lumber or timber in the game. Now here come the vegetables, right? So this will be our first delivery of vegetables. Where's the farmer? Ah, farmer's market at a different angle. Right. Let's check the budget. How about the last six months? Total income, 10.8 million. Total budget, building product. Okay, total budget. What does that mean? 10 million. Total income. Total expenses. Loans. Oh, we got a $10 million loan out, that's why. Total income. We haven't made $10 million. We've got a $10 million loan. That makes more sense. $79,000 in sales. Two million in construction, building upkeep fifty one thousand, vehicle upkeep fifty seven thousand, R and D expense four hundred and ten. Well, we should be losing money. I don't understand. Total income. I don't understand this graph. Does anyone understand this graph? What is that? They're the expenses. That's the income. Can okay, is that a P and L? Demand six thousand stored supplied total sales. Total sales. 121,000. 121,000. Total budget, total sales. I need a P and L. I need a P and L. Don't understand this. Okay. Not not overly helpful to me at the minute, I have to say. Okay, we have finished all our research. So we're just going to leave that at the moment with no research going on. Budget overview. Okay, what have we got? Ah, this might be the P&L down here. Right, that's a P&L. That's what, okay, so I've got six million, six million dollars left in the bank. I sold 66,000, building upkeep is 24, vehicle upkeep is 22. Forty six. So I can make a profit. Last month, this month, 12. Excuse me, there should... Oh, no, we're doing sheep, sorry. There is still R&D, okay. So we are losing money. But 78,000, okay. So, now, let's look at the farmer's market for a second here. We're supplying vegetables 7 per 15 days and we have none stored. So, what that tells me is we can increase production. 
Okay, production produced at the crop farm requires water. Hold shift for more info. Fully demanded. Used in beef stew, burgers, and yeah, okay, fine. But what I'm interested in is this information on the right, which is not over here. I need seven per 15 days, three stored. Ah, oh, okay, four stored. So I am actually keeping up with production. Okay, all right. So if I add two more vegetable farm uh, fields, two more, let's see how we go. Um, to the overview, add a field. Right there. Oh, is that it? I'm only allowed three? Yep, I'm only allowed three. That's kind of interesting. Okay. So we want to split them. And we want to send a third. Now, are you actually producing? Not. Got 12 water in storage. Oh yeah, the green shoots are coming. All right, so now, this is where we start getting tricky. We want to send you somewhere. And we want to send you to the commercial. Now, the closest town is Osterfeld, outside of Abenrod, which is almost double the distance. So we're going to send you there, but minimum amount stored at source, max stored at destination. What I would like to do is to fight it give you priority. Deliver no products. Deliver enough products for two cycles. Okay. I'd like to give you priority over this guy here. Eh, but maybe not. Destination plot two out of three. Maximum amount stored at destination. Yeah, leave it in infinity. Okay. Well, that's going to give us more revenue, but it's also going to increase our cartridge costs. So I'm not quite sure whether we're winning or losing on that one. Uh, now, we probably want to be able, what are we doing down here? We've got tons of water stored, tons. But we do need to go and have a look at research now. Fields and harvesters, farm storage, we can increase farm storage. Two, we can increase crop fields by two, right. So we can increase two crop fields, right. That's important to know. So what we've got is a maximum of five. Cool, maximum of five fields for every type. So the next thing I think I would like to do is get some oranges going. Up we go, one, two, three, 
four and maybe five up there. So that's the border there. Um, we could put you on this side, actually. Oh, actually, we could put you right there. There you go. One, two, three, four, and maybe we could put five up there. Yeah, we could put five up there. Yeah, okay. So we need an orchard. That's what we're going to do. We're going to get an orchard. Now, um, what, how, what, how big is an orchard field? Let's assume they're the same size. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I hope that works. We'll try it anyway. Ooh, neat fit. One. Two. Okay, neat fit. Put a road in. Uh, and we're going to have to add water supply to you. So you're going to farm the orchard. Now, what's your recipe? One water, one field, two oranges. That's cool. Now, we're going to put an extra field in. We are going to put an extra field in. Let go back. We want the maximum fields that we can get just to start off with. Very good. Very good. Okay. So we've got three of you going on. And I think that um, we'll just put in straight away where we're going. So we're going to Abenrod and then we're going to Karlsrud no what Karlsrud oh okay no I don't think so we'll just send you to Abenrod because that's too far away I think cool functioning now because we have a lack of water. Production alert, R and D alert, I know that one. Production alert, yep, top view. Okay, I think we should have some water coming up here fairly soon. Uh, but it is 48 minutes into the episode, ladies and gentlemen, and I think we've done pretty well. We have got... We have got lumber yards, uh, one lumber yard up and running and providing lumber to Arbonroad. We have a vegetable farm and we're about to open up our first orange orchard. So in terms of building the agricultural juggernaut we are well on the way and so i thank you for joining me today i hope you're enjoying rise of industry it's uh it's good and i like the graphics and i like the gameplay and they really have changed it since the initial uh run of it we had about a year ago so it's very nice actually really looking forward to seeing how far we can go with our agri business so stay well. I look forward to seeing you in the Gig Channel really soon. And uh, so, until then, I'll see you later. Bye.